What we're gonna do today is talk about how you can use Google image ads, those big banner ads you see on sites to get massive amounts of clicks to your site from the Google's content network and really hopefully make uh, a lot of profit from the ads and dominate your market. So my name is Jason Nyback. I'm one of the leaders in, on the internet in terms of how to get more traffic using automated long-term traffic systems. And so what we're gonna do is talk about the best way to use the Google image ads. Now let's talk about them for a second because sometimes people don't quite understand. First of all, there's Google search, right? Where you go type in google.com and your keyword and then your ads on the right hand side. So that's traditional Google AdWords. Then what you have is the Google Content Network. And those ads are, so the AdSense ads, they, they're text ads in text on people's websites in articles and stuff like that. that. Then what the evolution kind of happened at Google is they evolved into allowing you to place essentially banner ads or image ads in those AdSense blocks on site. So you got a block of ads and now you can take up that whole block with one ad. Now the beauty of image ads is you can get a massive click through rate because traditionally with the text ads, there's usually like four, five, six, however many, in the ad block, right, that ad block on a site, and so you're one of six, but when you run an image ad, you're like, you're it. And so you can get, oh my goodness, huge click-through rates comparatively to the text ad. The problem though is you've gotta be able to do it right, okay? Because if, if you don't, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna, your ad's not gonna run, because see, that ad block that, that Google has there, they know how much money that thing should generate, right? And so if they got seven individual ads, they're text ads, and they aren't really generating, or, or sorry, and they know how much, okay, those seven ads on average get a 1% click-through rate, so that they know that they're gonna get like, say, a 7% click-through rate, and the average cost they're making per click is say 30 cents, right? So they've got their metrics. And if you run your ad and it gets like a half percent click-through rate, think about it. Why would they run your ad when they can boot your ad out, put those text ads back in, and get like 12 times the amount of click-through rate? It doesn't make sense. So the first thing you've got to do is you have to make sure you have a really good click-through rate on those ads. That is the key to it all. Obviously, you've got to pass the quality score, make sure that their ads are, that Google likes them and they think they're legitimate. And if that's the case, the next thing is you have to. The key to this whole thing working is your ad gets a really good click-through rate. Because if it sucks, nobody's gonna click on it. You can run that ad on hundreds of sites all through the internet, and eventually they're just gonna all get taken down, all get taken down, because Google's just not making any money off you, and you're not obviously providing a good value to the user who's clicking the ad, because very few people are clicking the ad. So what do we do? First thing you gotta do is you've got to, without question, make sure you've got at least a couple split tests running. So you wanna split test and rotate three ads when you're starting out, ideally that's a good thing. And then on each ad, you're gonna to wanna to change one variable. So one ad is, there, there, say the first one is your, is, is your control ad, then ad number two, you're gonna change the headline. And then, so it's just a different headline than ad number one. Then ad three has the same, everything is ad one, but the only thing changes is like the background color or something like that. And so each ad's only changing one thing. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make sure you know what works. If you run three different ads, well, you might not know what worked in each ad to make that new one work. So you only change one variable. Now let's say ad three outpulls your control. So what you're gonna do then is you're gonna rerun ad um, sorry, you're gonna run ad three, and then you're gonna take ad three and go, okay, it's got a blue background, let's test it against a red background, a white background. And so then you're gonna do that, and you're gonna pick the winner, and then you're gonna go, okay, the new winner, now let's test a different headline, or a call to action, or whatever. And, and methodically, over a few weeks, or a month, or whatever, you're just constantly testing, 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 and eventually, it's, it's gonna hopefully go way up, and you're gonna have a massive click-through rate and hopefully get a ton of visitors to your site. Now that is really bottom line the key to it because it doesn't matter how good your website is, it doesn't matter how good you are at buying traffic on AdWords, it doesn't matter how good your quality score is, how much Google loves you, if your ad sucks, 
nobody's going to click on it and eventually Google's going to drop it because they're not making any money off it. And if nobody's clicking on it, then they assume it's got a bad experience and it's not targeting to the market. So that's what you need to do. Now, what I want you to do is head over to snowballsecrets.com. What I'm going to do is give you a free video to show you how I was able to get over 1.2 million visitors to my niche market websites using the Snowball traffic system and how you can use this system too to grow your internet business, get more traffic and have more success. So click the link below or go to snowballsecrets.com. See you over there.